Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be what I got for my 20th birthday. I originally filmed this about three days ago so I could edit it and upload it tonight. I was going to edit it today and then actually yesterday one of my orders arrived so I thought I would wait and do it right now uh, which is exactly what I plan to do. I have completely cleaned my room and everything today so I sat down played with some of the makeup items I bought and have put some makeup on so I can film this video. So if you guys are interested in seeing the things I received for my 20th birthday then just keep watching. <laughs> Some of these items were presents that I actually were presents and some of these items I did buy myself however I am not going to tell you which ones are which. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess but I'm still not going to say what was what and also the majority of the things I got was money just because that was what I asked for uh, and things like that so my dad gave me some money which was supposed to go towards my car which is going towards my car and things like that so Basically my biggest present was money. I'm going to start off with the clothing items and I actually have a few pairs of shoes. So the first pair are these very basic everyday black joggers. They are, I'm going to show you one shoe. They are from the Michelle Bridges range. Whoops. They are from the Michelle Bridges range at Big W. I bought these because my TAFE class was going on an ex couple of excursions and it is a requirement for our uniform to be black. Now you guys know that my previous joggers were absolutely neon rainbow and they said yes I can wear them but if I can find a plain black pair um, that would be more suitable. So I went and I found these and to try and wear them in I actually went and exercised with these on two days in a row. So my excursion was last Thursday, or Thursday that's just gone, and I wore these on the Wednesday and the Tuesday to exercise and then I couldn't even end up wearing these for my excursion because I was so sore. So these are not stable enough, they are not good enough for me to be able to wear to do my full on exercises in, but for me to wear just to and from class um, and just around a little bit, they are great. They were only $15 so I'm not too surprised that I can't wear them all the time. Um, I was hopeful but I didn't think I was going to be able to but my second pair of shoes are actually beginning to get quite dirty and they are just these like everyday slip on tie up shoes. So the entire shoe is silver with the back of it here being slightly iridescent. These are also from Big W. Um, I bought these about a week before I bought my other shoes. These are not the Michelle Bridges range, they're just normal Big W shoes. They also had them with that are plain white with the iridescent on the back and the toe part. I want to go get them as well because these are fantastic everyday shoes. I've actually been able to wear these all day every day. I haven't worn them for exercising but I have been able to wear these like all day running around everywhere and my feet and legs don't hurt. So they're really nice, they're super sturdy, they're actually dirty because we are at the lake the other day and I sort of walked in the water with a bit. A bit. They're waterproof um, but they're really nice, they're just everyday. They are silver which is great because I wear a lot more silver jewellery in the summer. My last pair of shoes are quite expensive, um, they are another pair of ASICs joggers. So these ones are even more neon than what my previous pair were. I still have my previous pair just in case something happens or if it's raining too much or something but basically when we moved here I was working way too much and had like I was at school all the other time so I wasn't wearing my outside outside of school shoes basically and I shoved them in one of my drawers and they like really were squished this way and the backing, the plastic backing actually, that shapes the back actually came through the fabric here and it was beginning to cut the back of my leg. So it had come through for a while but it was just beginning to cut my leg. So I couldn't wear them anymore. So I thought about just patching them up but it was going to be easier just to buy a new pair. So I did buy these ones. They are super, super neon. They were actually the next size up because the fours were just too tight. Um, and I think that was part of the reason why my foot was being so sore. But they're even more neon than my other pair. But they are so comfortable. I got these pair of shorts and they are like the styler shorts I absolutely love. With the really stretchy band and then the rest of them is just like thin flowy cotton. Um, these ones are from Target and they are a dark navy blue with what I call like your older style flower pattern. 
I love, love shorts like this. I've got a couple of pairs that are actually from Kmart from last summer that are turquoise and things like that. I just love these because they're so flowy. You can wear them over swimmers if you want. You can wear them like just by themselves with a shirt. They're really nice. Um, I can find sometimes I can dress them up, dress them down, things like that. They have a toggle with the, like they actually tighten these ones. Some of mine don't. Um, and they have little gold hardware on them. But I just loved this print when I got them. I thought they were so nice. Um, and I do have a shirt that matches it. It's just a basic plain t-shirt that's super stretchy and it is the color of the rosy shade here. I do have that, but it is in the wash because I actually wore it with like leggings and these shoes when we went out the other day because the shirt's got like silver glitter type through it. Um, so that shirt is actually in the wash. I'll post a photo on my Instagram one day. So when next time I wear it, so please check out my social medias in the description box. Um, but yeah, I did get the shirt to match this, but I love these shorts. I love this style and I actually want to go and get more because I love them. My mum got me this little handbag and she did think that it was actually supposed to be bigger than what it is. She ordered it online. She thought it was about three times the size of this and then it arrived. So um, she told me, she just gave it to me because she thought I'd like it and I do like it, but I'm never going to use this actually. And she knows that. It's just to me like this little bag like this, it's like a five year old who walks around with an empty handbag type of thing. Um, but the color is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors on it. Um, but this is basically just being shoved in a drawer somewhere because I might give it to someone as a gift one day or I don't know, put it in a giveaway if I do something, but I am um, not going to be using that. I have four jewelry items here. They are all from Colette and the first one is this ring. So it is bright rose gold with a teardrop shaped little diamante in the middle. Um, I don't have much rose gold rings and the ones I do are quite flimsy. This one is a lot stronger so I thought it would look really nice. It's just got the great big jewel in the middle. Um, I just saw this and absolutely loved it. I did buy this one. I just saw this and I loved it and um, I fell in love with it from the minute I saw it. So it fits really well and I like it. I have this bracelet, which all of this jewelry, as I mentioned, is from Colette and it is rose gold as well with like a little sunshine pattern, I suppose. And it's got little beads that are also silver and white so basically the ring will match the bracelet this was completely unintentional I had no idea um, but yeah the ring matches the bracelet sort of like this is a little bit too older style for this but if I wear them on opposite hands it doesn't matter they both match um, and I really like both of those next two items do go together but I can also wear them separately this purple bracelet it's gold with like reddish it's got the stones are purple but sometimes it looks like they have a really like a red undertone but this is absolutely gorgeous i wear a lot of purple i wear a lot of purple in the summer and i actually the tones of purple that i wear i like to mix with gold more than silver so i think i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this bracelet it's really stretchy as well fits my wrist really nicely it doesn't it's not like it's going to fall off colette's jewelry is really really nice um super amazing quality but i just love the purple and the last jewelry item is actually a necklace and it is basically just like this thickish chain that goes down into a little knot. Now these are completely like glued in this position. It's not going to fall undone. So it's basically just a thicker chain. I used to have a gold chain somewhere and I lost it. So I got this to replace it and it's really nice. It just comes down into the, the simple knot, which I really like. I love to wear slightly more complex bracelets and rings and a simple necklace, something that's pretty long or long-ish that comes down to a knot or just a small pendant or something like that. Um, so this necklace is going to get a lot of use as well over the next few years. I finally have a new perfume and this is Beyonce Orchid Heat. I have another one of her line and it is Heat Rush, which is the orange one. I was at our local chemist one day just smelling all the Beyonce ones because I hadn't smelt any of them other ones before and the second I smelt this I just knew I had to have it. It was just beautiful. It's not like any other perfume I have. It's floral but it's still got like all nice warmish smooth notes to it 
um, and it's not too childish, it's not too adult like and it just to me it just smells perfect. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I have actually the notes here on what I actually have it written here what the notes are. It says um, top notes of coconut water, pomegranate and boysenberry. Um, the flower, the scent really is inspired by the butterfly orchid. Um, it has gilded amber, musk and blonde woods create the base notes. So I can definitely, definitely tell it has the um, like woody notes to it. You wouldn't smell it and know it's got the wood notes, but it gives it enough of a warm, almost vanilla scent. And it's definitely got the amber there that makes it slightly warm. And these don't last particularly well on the skin, but I spray my shirt. And I've actually only owned this since September 10. It's now the 25th when I'm filming this. And I've probably used more of this one than I actually have of my heat rush. I have two more of my absolute favorite Sally Hansen nail polishes. They are the Hard As Nails Extreme Wear range. I'm basically going to collect all of these. So the color which I'm actually wearing right, right now is called White On and it's just a basic white because I love the look of plain white nails. I think it goes with everything. It's really nice and classy but the white that I had had just gone off. It was thick, it was gluggy, it just didn't work. So when I got a white one, I thought it was really great because it will last. I love the formula of these. I know it'll last. I know it'll work well. Um, and yeah, so a plain white is just something that I've needed for a while. And then I actually got this other color, which is called Babe Blue. So this is, I did not know that I needed this color until I bought it. So it has little bits of glitter in it. I don't know if you can tell. You might be able to see there. It is supposed to have glitter in it, but once it's on your nails, you can't even see that it's got glitter in it at all. No matter what, whether you just leave it, whether you put a top coat on, whether you get your hands wet, it doesn't matter. You can't tell it's got the shimmer in it, but this color is just gorgeous. I don't have many colors that are suitable for spring. I have amazing vibrant colors that are suitable for like summer. I have dark ones that are suitable for winter, but I don't have many spring colors. And this one is just a complete perfect spring color. This one, I don't, this one needs a lot more layers. It tends to need three layers for it to be fully opaque. Um, otherwise, I'll just put one thin layer of the white underneath and it works really well. But I love this formula and it's really nice. The only thing with those Sally Hansen nail polishes, I have, because I have a few colors, I have five of them now, I have found that I can't quite get that perfect looking nail color. So the nails, my nails themselves, the color is fully saturated, it's not streaky or anything but I can't get it looking really nice and perfect. The formula is almost too thick, the brush is almost too thick. So you can look at my nails and you can think, yeah, you can see I have definitely done them myself. Whereas with some of my Revlon ones where the formula is a little bit thinner, you can look at it and you don't know that I've done it myself or if I got it done professionally. So these ones tend to really glug up in my um, cuticles. I've tried everything. They tend to really like be really messy, but from a distance, I think the colors are beautiful. I have another Maybelline concealer here. This is the Fit Me Concealer in number 15 Fair. I realize now they have literally just bought in all of the new shades. So I probably should use the shade five, but um, this is the older shade in 15. Um, this is one of my favorite affordable concealers ever. It's like the smoothest, nicest looking one. It sucks you don't get much uh, product in here, but it's just, really nice. I absolutely love it. I'm about halfway through my other tube so I thought it was time to buy one when they were on sale and here we go. I actually bought some items from Colourpop and I did a video last night on a try on haul. I am wearing some of those items on my face today as well so I will take you through them but I'm not going to take you too much in depth with them just because I've done the entire video on with a Colourpop try on haul and things like that and there will be videos in the future. So I got a ultra glossy lip in the shade Fairy Floss. I am wearing this today. I really like it. It's a super nice gloss. It doesn't taste like anything and it's super like creamy and it's a bit of a thinner formula which is nice because a lot of mine are super thick. I got a luxe lipstick in the color Appy which I am not actually impressed with this shade. Um, it is way too dark and orange for what I thought it would be. It looked a lot more pale online. The formula is amazing. It is super hydrating and really nice but um, the color is suck. The color is really bad. 
Um, I don't like this colour at all. I'm going to try and figure out ways to wear it. Um, but it looked a lot more pale online. It looked like it was supposed to be this shade and it's not. So if someone could tell me what the palest nude shade is from Colourpop, please let me know. Because I don't want to be going around buying them all. Uh, just to find the right one because I actually really like the formula. I just don't like this shade. I also picked up the No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 2. Again, it looked a lot darker online than what it is in the tube. So this is either number one and they have mislabeled it. Um, but this looked a hell of a lot darker online. So that's why I bought um, Fair 2. But now that I know what the shade is in the future, I might order one or two shades darker. I have tried this twice now. I tried it last night and I have tried it again today. And I have to say, I'm not absolutely in love with it. I am wearing it today and it is super, super brightening, which is nice. A lot of my concealers look really brightening, but once I put powder over the top, it darkens and I don't doesn't make my face look brightening. So I, even if I have to, will mix this in with other shades to brighten them. But I've tried this on its own twice now over two different foundations and I am not really impressed. Um, it seems to be too dry, seems to cake too much. It doesn't seem to be um, as full coverage as people claim. I put a lot on and then I had to still double it up. Um, it's nice in the center of my face, but it looks really heavy in between my eyebrows and things like that. So I have yet to try it with using a setting spray on my face. Um, but at the moment, after only trying it twice, I am not very impressed. It I got one of these Super Shock Cheek Blushes. This is a matte in the color Holiday. So I have used this last night and today as well. I am actually wearing this as my blush today. I just put a little bit on because I didn't want too much. But if this color doesn't scream my name, I don't know what does. This is a beautiful color. Um, this is the first time I've tried any anything from Colourpop, let alone the Super Shock um, formula so it's making me a little bit curious as to whether or not my eyes will be able to uh, where it's making me a little bit curious as to whether or not I'll be able to use these on my eyes because my eyes are extremely oily I do use the Mac soft ochre paint pot as my primer but if I use things like a lot of cream eyeshadows or if I use Mac Fix Plus or something like that my eyeshadow will crease so this is a beautiful blush I have yet to see how long it wears but the color I just put a tiny bit on it's super super gorgeous I bought a matte deliberately just because I prefer matte shades but I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this in the summer I picked up two eyeshadow palettes from Colourpop as well they are both the Kathleen Lights collaborations so the first one is actually the palette that I am wearing right now and it is the Dream Street palette I tried the Zodiac one in my video last night so I tried this one today um, I will put the shades that I am wearing in the description box down below so please go check it out but I am super, super impressed. The shades are amazing. The colors are beautiful. I have swatched all of them. Um, I absolutely love the packaging. The formula of this, I have to say, is almost better than my Kat Von D palette. Um, I don't know if it's because I've had my, had my Kat Von D palette for like three and a half years, and I've literally only just had this for like two days. But these are like even more creamy, even more pigmented, even more amazing than the Kat Von D one. But that palette I can get sort of an everyday look out of. I can get really warm tones. Um, and I also picked up the Zodiac one. So this was the one I tried in the video just because it was the more recent one. Um, my look didn't turn out the best because it was at night time. But this one has a mirror, so I'm just going to cover up the mirror as much as I can. And I'm sure you guys have seen it, but this is what the palette looks like. Super, super amazing. This colour here is what I used on my lid and I'm absolutely in love with it. I can't wait to use the Pisces in a look. Um, I just wanted to use a colour other than that one, even though it was speaking to me. I just tried a different colour in the video. Um, I will use all of these colours at one point or another. The one I'll use the least is probably the Capricorn, but I probably will use it at one point. Um, I love all of these shades and it's the same with the Dream Street palette. I will use those shades all at one time. Um, and seeing as they are both like such high quality, it's made me really, really want to try some of the others. I have my last item here and this was actually supposed to be a Christmas present. Really, my grandmother gave it to me early. She only gave it to me today, but I've decided to add it to this video because she said it was like a late birthday present because she's decided to give it to me today. Um, and it's basically this cat figurine basket. 
and I think it is so gorgeous. They all have, that one's got its eyes closed, but they all have blue eyes because most kittens have blue eyes. Um, I think my dad's cat was the only one that hasn't had blue eyes, um, but I think it's just gorgeous. I have cat things everywhere. We have an actual cat. I have a, another ceramic figurine thing that's on the other side of my wardrobe. I have a little figurine of a cat in a cup. Like, we love cats. My calendar is a cat. So, I was absolutely in love with this when I received it. So this is just sitting next to my other cat at the moment that's on the other side of my wardrobe. I'll post a picture. And yeah, this is not particularly heavy, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I think it's so cute. That was it. That was everything I received for my 20th birthday. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Like I said, some of these things were purchased by me, some of these things were given to me, and I'm sure you can figure out which ones were which. But I hope you all had a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my description box down below for my social media sites and my Instagram and everything else that's down there. Please hit the subscribe button that's in the corner down there, and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.